win ministries. Seeking God to impact nations. On how the plane is big. And exactly the wings will be so long. When you enter into a KLM for instance. The curtains. Iyo curtains, na iyo curtains. Yeah, the wings Kamasi, could spread Kamasi. as far as to that curtain and to the other curtain. I've ever been visited by an angel or such an angel. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. You find yourself like a small. And the body is so huge. And on how the aeroplane flies high. And that's how such an angel will take you high. Can take you to the holies of holies. But many times. I've been visited by angels like human beings. They don't have wings. Many times. Even the one who came to feed me bread before I was operated. He was operated. just sent me to, to uh, feed me the bread of life and he left. Not only things in the Bible. That angels visited so and so. That Yulinjiwa brought meat on the, on the mouth of Elijah. The angels have ever brought me food. Angel came to pray for my son for healing. And he laid his hand on him. When I was about to go and bless him, he said, Where did this person go? Many times, angels, they come to give you information. The news about my life to be blessed was brought by an angel. My life was not like the way they are. An angel spoke into my ears. When I turned, I didn't see him. When you're visited by an angel, even once, you will have a spiritual understanding that is not normal. Your understanding will be open. You will know other things that you've not read them in the Bible. The day you read them in the Bible, you say, oh, so these things are real. They are in the Bible. Angel. Angels. They are being attracted. Where there is praise. Where there is worshiping. Where there is intercession. Where there is giving. We say, may God feel where you've given out or restore, but how does that happen? Money is being added. Food is being increased. Food is being increased. Things are being increased. <laughs> Luisa me viona mara nyingi sana. Ndio maana anasema many times that she saying. Na anasema tu huyo ni ule Mungu wako. He said that is your god. Malaika angels. Wanavutwa sana na utoaji. They are attracted by giving. Ukiwa mtoaji. If you are a giver. Malaika watakutembea mara nyingi sana. Angels will visit you many times. Na ukiwa mtu wa uovu and when you are an evil person, sana sana mahali pa bitterness, and mostly where you harbor in bitterness, watakukaribia ma, mapepo, demons, malaika wabaya, demons will be close to you. Na kwa sababu wanaishi mahali pa kavu, and because they live in a dry place, hawatakana wewe, 
They will not stay with you. Wata kuingia. They will enter in. Ndio unaona mtu anaongea jambo. That's why you see somebody speak something. Nasema mtu anaweza ongea kitu kama hichi. Can somebody speak such a thing? Lakini kumbe sio yeye. Whereas it's not that person. Ni kile kilichomo ndani yake. It is that which is in him or her. Ndio That which speaks. Kwa hiyo wakawaokoa Lot. So they saved Lot. Na mke wake na watoto wake. And with his wife and his children. Wakasema mwende haraka. And he said go make haste. Mwende haraka. Go out quickly. Maana tunachoma sasa mshindi. Because we are burning this city. Tunachoma kwa ajili ya iniquities. We are burning this city because of the iniquities. Na msiangalie nyuma. And do not look behind. Hiyo ilikuwa ni information. That was information. Walipokuwa wanakimbia. As they were running away. Mke wake akadisobey. The wife disobeyed. Akaangalia nyuma. And she turned back. Akageuka nguzo. And she became a pillar of salt. Unavyookolewa na uovu kimbia na usiangalie nyuma. As you have been saved from evil run away and do not look back. Usiangalie nyuma. Don't look back. Wakristo wanaopenda kuanguka na kurudi nyuma. Christians who love to fall back. Sikiliza nikwambie. Let me tell you. Achana na hiyo tabia. Leave that habit. Twende kwenye 32. Now let's go to, to, to Genesis chapter 32 uh, from verse 13. Right? Yes. Genesis 32 from verse 13. Are you being blessed? Are you learning something? Yeah. Amen. The Bible said, and he lodged there that same night and took off that which came to his hand a present for Esau, his brother. 200 she goats and 20 he goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, uh, 30 milk camels with their coals, 40 kine and 10 bulls. 20 she asses and 10 foals and he delivered them into the hand of his servants every every drove by themselves and said unto his servants pass over before me and put a space betwixt drove and drove and he commanded the former saying when Esau my brother meeteth thee and asks thee saying who art thou and whither goest thou and whose are these people before thee then thou shalt say they be thy servants, Jacobs. It is a present sent unto my Lord Esau, and behold, also he is behind us. Mm -hmm. And so commanded he the second and the third, and all that followed he drove, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him that present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face. Peradventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two uh, women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford Jabok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone, and they wrestled the man with him until he breaketh of the of the until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince... Hast thou power with God and with men hast thou prevailed? Praise the Lord. This is a very sweet story. We know the story of Jacob. You know how he forced Esau to give him soup and sell his birthright of the firstborn. And Esau say, after all, forget about this birthright. Take it, give me soup. And you know what the mother did? And he was blessed. And after he was blessed with all the blessings of the father, when Esau came, and the father said, well, I've already given the blessings. Who was it that came before you? Who was it? I've already blessed him. And I've already told him that you're going to be his slave. 
Lakini hayo yote But all these ilikuwa ndani ya mpango wa Mungu. It was in the plan of God. Ingawa wao waliifanya kimwili, walitetea kimwili. Even though they did it physically. Wangetakiwa waisubiri kiroho. They were supposed to wait for it spiritually. Lakini kwa sababu waliifanya kimwili. But because they did it physically. Walikutana na resistance ya uadui, kifo cha mama yake na vitu vingi. Resistance of enmity, the death of the anyway, mother. Anyway, hiyo ni somo nyingine. That's another lesson. Lakini Mungu alikuwa na yeye. But God was with him. Kumbuka alivyokuwa nakimbia kwenye Genesis 28. Remember while he was running away in Genesis 28. Alianguka kuchoka. He fell down tired. Akatia jiwe. And he put a stone. Malaika wakaanza kupanda as a pillow and slept and at night he saw message, angels going up and down in that message, God said I'm with you and whatsoever thou life I will give it to you and thy generation so that was a blessing from above kwa sababu mama yake alisikia because the mother heard that kwamba nimempenda Yakobo that i have loved jacob nimemkataa yesu and i have refused iso sasa ukiona genesis 28 now when you look at genesis 28 unaona hakika urithi wake kutoka mbinguni you see indeed his inheritance was from heaven basi to cut the story short now to cut the story short tunaporudi kwenye 32 genesis alikuwa sasa anarudi kwao now he was returning home amekaa kwa laban he's been at laban's miaka house miaka 20 years na amebari ikiwa sasa anarudi alivorudi wakati anataka kuvuka sasa aingie kwenye nchi yao akawa na hofu nyingi sana akanaogopa akasema ndugu yangu Yesu ataniua tu ataniua manake Yesu alisema siku nitamuonaga Yakobo nitamuua kwa yale alionifanyia alikuwa amejaa He was full of bitterness. Kwa hiyo, Therefore, tulisema wiki iliyopita. We said last week. Kama unataka kumuona Mungu, if you want to see God, lazima utafute iwezekanavyo kurekonsile na watu ambao mlikorofishana. You must work hard to seek to reconcile with lazima people you had conflict with. Lazima utafute amani na watu wote. You must seek to have peace with all Kwa hiyo huyu sasa, akao anatafuta njia ya reconciliation. He was looking for a way to reconcile. Umeona wale wa, wale wanyama wote aliowatoa. You see all those animals that you gave. Kulikuwa kondoo, kulikuwa ngombe, kulikuwa punda. Kulikuwa vitu vingi ambao vyote ukivijumlisha vilikuwa 580 akasema muvivebe makundi kwa makundi and say, go by flock kwamba mkikutana naye akiwauliza and if he asks hili kundi ni la nani this group belongs to who mumwambie tell him ni la mtumwa wako it is from thy servant yakobo jacob anakutumia kama zawadi he is sending unto you as a gift na huko chini anasema nitafanya hivyo when you continue he says nimtulize I will do so so that I may appease. I appease his sorrow that I may appease his anger. Labda nione kama atanisamee. For adventure he would forgive me. Lakini wa Kristo wa leo But today's Christians Anasema tu He says Kama nilikuumiza naomba basi naomba unisamee. If I hurt you please forgive me. Kama nilikuumiza unisamee. If I hurt you forgive me. Kweli Is that so? How about the wounds that you left maumiza. in my heart? The pain. Ni kama umemuumiza. It is like you've hurt him. Kisha unamlazimisha kusamehe. And then you're forcing him to forgive. Hapana. No. Lazima ufanye vitu. You got to do something. Lazima ufanye vitu. You got to do something. Ambavyo vitamwezesha which will enable the person to release you. Lazima ufanye vitu. You got to do something. Ambavyo vitapunguza ile huzuni na ile asili. That will appease that anger in that soul. Ndio maana kutia group ya That's the meaning of sending the first group. Biblia inasema. Bible says. Esau alivojua Yakobo anakuja. When Esau knew that Jacob was coming. Akachukua silaha zake zote. He took all his weapons. Akachukua wanaume 400 men of war. He took 400 men of war. Alikuwa anaenda vitani. He knew he was going to battle. Alikuwa anaenda. Ali was going. Anakutana na kundi ya kwanza. He meets with the first group. Wanasema wewe ni nani? Na hii vitu ni nini? And what are these? Ni mtumwa wako. These are amekutumia zawadi na yeye yuko njiani anasema ataniona tu no, ataniona tu anapotembea anaona kikundi cha pili anasema na hivi ni vya nani ni vya mtumwa wako zawadi anakuletea anasema ataniona tu ataniona tu anaona ataniona tu anaona ya tatu anasema hii ni ya mtumwa wako ana na yeye yuko njiani anafuata he's sending to you a gift he's behind coming and he said what anaona zile ngombe 
I say all these cows. Karoka, and then inside something is, and he continues. Another group of donkeys and say, what are these? He they are also from the other He's bringing a gift I to you. I say, wow. I say, wow. He continues. I say, now, my brother, by the way, I don't have any other brother. There were only two of them born. And then he starts to remember that, no, this is my brother. By the time I know the donkeys, you see the donkeys. Ah, the anger is gone. And I say, ah, maybe if I see him, if I see him, I would hug him. You just say, forgive me. Well, <laughs> Uh, he is not even sure he offended you or he hurt you. Hmm? And your face is frowning. The Bible says, seek to have peace with everyone. Na righteousness and holiness bila hivyo, without which mtu mungu. no one will see God. You are harboring enemies of 10, 20, 30 years in you. Mbaka uko kwenye kit. Until down deep you cannot even Unataka walk. Kataro. You are about to die. Unasema, si msame, hata you kufa say, na kufa, no, I'm si not going to forgive that person. If it is to die, I will die. Where will you see angels to come and meet you? When the, when the holy people depart, the angels would come and meet them. But you are hovering things inside. Wait until you see how demons will come and meet you. You know where they will take you to. These are mysteries. And then he was alone. He was left alone. And he sent his wife and his children. Now he started. It was him and God. But something amazing. I had never discovered this. I just knew this chapter of him sending gifts. But I did not know why did this angel come. But I have come to get the connection from the Holy Spirit. After he gave this thing. He would have, he would have uh, asked for forgiveness even with 10 pieces of gifts, 100. But when he gave five, eight, the heavens say, mm -mm, with this, I have got to go and fight for him. I have to go. That's when the angel came. When the angel came, and then he fought with him. And he fought with him. And he told, let me go. I'm, I'm, it's about Panakucha. breaking of the day. And he said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Sasa and he asked him, Kwani nani? by the way, what's your name? Akasema and he said, Jacob. Say from today, you will not be called Jacob anymore because the meaning of Jacob is a supplanter, a person who wants to cheat. Nice. We were still walking with him. But from today, you will not be called Jacob anymore. Israel. You will be called Israel. In other words, he was delivered. He was delivered. He was delivered. Even though his hip bone was displaced, but he was a different person. My question, when Esau met jama, with this man, who did he meet? With Israel. Did he meet with Jacob? He met with Israel, a different person. Israel. Yeah. yeah, he didn't meet with Jacob. Hey, don't play with people's gifts. That is not a normal name. It is a big name. Which he has been called for the whole nation. God of Israel. Nation of Israel. It comes from what? What activated? The giving 
the, the, the gifts of peace. Mungu akasema shuka haraka. And God said, quickly go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alivyo muona Biblia inasema akamuona Yesu kutoka kwa mbali. The Bible says he saw Esau from afar. Akaanguka chini dum. And he fell down. Akaanguka dum. And he fell down. Akaanguka dum. And he fell down. Mara saba. Seven times. Akawa ameshawafundisha na wake zake. And he had taught the wife so that and wake. his children. Yesu akakuja. And Esau was coming. Alivyo una ndugu yake analala. And he saw the brother was bound down to greet him. Bwana wangu. My lord akasema na hawa ni nani? And he said and who are these? Ni wake wangu ambao Bwana alipatia mtume wako. These are the Lord has given to your servant. Nao wakaja mm. And they came and bowed down. Wakaanguka mbele zake. Leah akaanguka mbele zake. Na Rachel akaanguka mbele zake. Nao watoto. And the children. Hao nao ni watoto Mungu alinibariki. These are the children that God has blessed me with. Watoto nao wakaja. And the kids came. Jamani. And bowed down. Hata kama angekuwa na moyo mgumu. Even if he had the hardest heart. With all this, the Bible says, when he got off his chariot, and he went and hugged his brother, and he kissed him, and Israel kissed him, and they wept, and they wept, they wept, because everything inside melted, and he told him, Hizi vitu vyote nimekutana navyo njiani. All these things I met with along the way. Ni vitu vya nini? What are these for? Akasema ni zawadi. Say it's a gift. Ambao mtume wako. That your servant. Amekutumia. Has sent you. Yesu akasema. And Yesu said. Ah ah hamna shida. No, don't worry. Kaa navyo tu. Just keep them. Nami nina vya kwangu. I also have mine. Ingekuwa wewe labda na mimi. If it was you and I. Nimesema amekataa mwenyewe. He said ah he just said himself I don't want. Mungu si umeona? But like God you've seen it you've seen like, it. you know my heart like, like he said, But he said Apana. No Sio na ni sio hivyo It is not so Usione kama zawadi tu Don't see just as a mere gift Ni baraka This is a blessing Kutoka kwa mtume wako From your servant Mpe bwana makofi jamani Applause the Lord ni baraka ambao mtume wako amekupatia alivyosikia kwamba ni baraka akasema basi asante akamwambia sasa tuondoke mimi nitakueskort kwa maana inawezekana umeshasahau watanjia nitakueskort nasikia hiyo akasema Twende nitakueskort. Let's go, I will escort you. Mwingine akasema, wewe unajua una mwendo wa haraka. You know you go Mimi fast. Mimi vitoto vichanga. I have this small kids. watoto hivi. I have wives Acha and all this. Amna aja. No problem, I will come. Nitakuwa nikibali kutoka kwako. What I was looking was we just to get me to you. you go, I'll come after you. Akasema, "Oh, basi nikupatie baadhi ya watu wangu wakae na wewe wakusindikize." Let me give you some of my men to go with you. Akasema, "Amna shida." Say no problem. Basi Sawa kaenda kwa amani yule jamaa yakaenda zake pole pole akakatiza mahali pengine akutaka wakae kwa karibu na karibu ili pasiweje kuwa na Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa maana nyingine hiyo country ni kubwa. So Kiakili alitaka ahamie kwengine na huyu aende Edom. Human speaking he wanted to go somewhere else and this one to go to Edom. Tafuteni amani. Seek to have peace. Na watu wote. With all men. Sio wazuri tu. Not only good ones. Sio wabaya tu. Not only evil ones. Hata walio kuumiza. Tafuta amani. Seek to have peace. Tafuta utakatifu. Seek to have holiness. Na watu wote. With all people ili uweze kumuona Mungu so that you may experience God. Na sio kumuona mbingu, Mungu tu siku ya mbinguni. And not only to see God the day you go to heaven. Na hata hapa duniani. Even here on earth. Mshangilie Bwana Jehovah. Applause the Lord. Kutembelewa na mbingu puko. There is being visited by the heavens. Acha nimalizie kwenye hili jambo moja. Let me finish with this one. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Katika Samuel wa kwanza. In the book of uh, first Samuel. Eh, Samuel wa pili samani. Sorry, second Samuel. 24. Second Samuel chapter 24. Kumi na sita hadi 24. Second Samuel. 
Chapter 24, I will read from verse 16 up to verse 24. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyeth the people, It is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Arona the Jebusite. And David spake unto the Lord when he saw the angel that smote the people and said, Lo, I have sinned and I have done wickedly, but this sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, be against me and against my father's house. And God came to that day, to, and, and God came that day to David and said unto him, Go up rare an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Arauna, the Jebusite. And Bwana David, sifiwe. praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Malaika na shuka kumtetea mtu ambaye ametubu. The angel comes down to defend for the person who is repentant. Hapa tunaiona hiyo event. So we see this event. Wakati Daudi ametenda dhambi tena. When David sinned again. Biblia inasema aliwatuma kuhesabu wana wa Israel. The Bible say that he sent his men to account the children of Israel. And that was an abomination unto Mungu the Lord. And God was so furious. If we go deep on why was it not allowed, we will go away from our topic. Lakini, but it did not please the Lord. And God sent his uh, prophet God. Nasema, and God said to David, the Lord said, what you have done is abomination. Choose three things. Chakwanza, First thing. Nja. Anger. Nja. Hunger. Dambi naleta nja. Sin can bring hunger. Sio mimi nimesema ni Biblia. I didn't say that the Bible says. Chapili. Sex. Second thing. Miaka nja miaka saba. Hunger for seven years. Pigo inchi nzima. These were calamities for the whole country. Pili. And then second. Miaka tatu. Three years. You will be running away from the enemy and the enemy will overpower you. For three years you will be like a vagabond running out, the enemy running after you. Number three. Three days. Of the sword of the Lord against you. Listen. And David said. I better fall in the hands of the Lord. To have hunger for seven years is worse. If I will be a vagabond being chased by the enemy for three years, they'll definitely kill me. The sword of the Lord. In God, there are mercies. Let me fall in his mercies. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa rehema nyingi. Oh, God is a God of mercy. Akachagua ile upanga wa Bwana. And he chose the sword of the Lord. Listen, let me tell you. Malaika wa Mungu walishuka. That's when the angel of the Lord came. Alikuwa na ua na ua. The angel was just slaughtering, slaughtering in that city of Jerusalem. Na Biblia inasema paka hapo alikuwa ameshaangamiza watu 70,000. And the Bible say by then 70,000 people were already slain. Lakini, but David alikuwa naomba toba. David was repenting. Alikuwa naomba toba. He was repenting. Na Biblia inasema Daudi akamwona malaika. And the Bible said David saw an angel. Malaika. An angel. Lakini malaika alivyokuwa anaangamiza. But when the angel was destroyed. Akafika kwenye hiyo shamba. He got to the threshing floor of Arona. Akalivofika hapo kwenye hiyo kwa pale kwa Arona. When he got to that threshing floor of Arona. Biblia inasema malaika akasema Mungu akamwambia malaika ah the Bible says that God told the angel stop in that mountain. Akasema, ah, and he says, stop. That's it. Za Mungu. Mercies of God. Sasa, now, when you do a research, pale, pale Mungu alimambia, apa, achiapu, right za where za God sasa. told the angel stop, it was ya Isaac. on the very mountain where Ibrahim offered ah, Isaac. When God remembered that, ya Ibrahim, what Ibrahim did, what Ibrahim gave the offering of his son, God appeared to an angel and said, this is it. And he brought an offering. Now when the angel was busy destroying, when he got to that land, when he lifted up his sword, and immediately God said, stop. Stop. Offering speaks. 
Inanena. It speaks. Sadaka Ibrahim ikanena hapo. Offering of Ibrahim spoke. Ndipo Daudi akaona malaika. That's when the David saw. Unajua huyo pamoja na makosa alikuwa rohoni. You know, with all mistakes he was still in the spirit. He could see angels. Praise the Lord. Then the prophet told him. Mungu anasema. God is saying. Nenda kwenye hiyo ardhi. Go to that land. Wende uwe unapafanye mahali pa sadaka na dhabihu zangu kwa ajili ya Israel for Israel. Ndipo Daudi alipoenda. That's when David went. Akakutana na huyo Onan. And he met with Arona. Kumbe Onan Whereby Onan, some Aruna. called Arona, even in the places called Onan. Too. But when you read that word, the meaning in Hebrew, it means a place of shout and celebrations of praise. A place of to rejoice. A place where the joy of the Lord shall be seen. Because the Lord knew the heart of David. And he said, right there, I'll give him. Ndipo and that's when he went. Ninunue, and he told Arona that I want to purchase this land. Mfalme. And Arona said, oh, ah, king, nane, who can sell you? Si the whole land is yours. It tu. is impossible. Just have it. Even animals for sacrifice here there. And David said, no. I will never give an offering unto God for something Lazima that costs me hela. nothing. I have to pay for it. I have to cost for it. I have to take also my offering and to offer it there that God may forgive me and may forgive Israel. And that's when David prayed and said, God, I have sinned. But what about these sheep? They've done nothing. Why should they keep being destroyed? But punish me. But leave this sheep alone, meaning Israel. And God forgave. David went and gave a lot of sacrifice. Do you know in that area? That's where he came and gave to his son Solomon. Right there. This is where you're going to build the temple. This is where you're going to build the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Once that angel comes down with a sword, the sword of death, what will defend you? What will fight for you? Acha zile tabia za kutubu na kurudilia na kutubu na kurudilia yale mapepo ya takuingia ajabu san. Stop those habits of sinning and repenting, sinning and repenting or else the demons will be after you. Matayo kuminambili. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew 12, 43 up to 45. The Bible says when the... Are you learning something? Are you learning something? When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return unto my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto those which are wicked in this generation. Uh, some people say that demons do not exist. But, but the Bible explains about them. Peter 5, 8, in Asema. Petro wa kwanza tano nane ya nasema. Be sober. Be vigilant. Mwe na kiasi. Mwe wa pole. Mwe macho. Kwa sababu aduye mshita kimenu. Like a rolling lion. Ni kama simba angurumai. Ye ya nazunguka zunguka. He just keeps moving up and down. Seeking whom he may devour. Dambi endelefu italeta shida. A sin that continues will cause problems. 
Even you're being delivered. The demons won't go far. They just linger around. Say, is that character gone? 100%? You know the work of the devil. Is to come and convince you. He convinces you and convinces you day and night. The day you fall. He runs to go and accuse you. That's what he does. <laughs> he runs Yule away. accuser of the brethren. He can take an entire year to just convince you. He can take an entire year to just convince you. And once you fall, it's your problem. Now, as you're being delivered, when you're born again, kombolewa. as you're being set free, mm, say, let, let, me, let me test Kale the karo. waters. If that, that cohabit is still there, then it will search you. If that long time habit is still there, you say, ah, can that really go like that? Easy. Then it will try you again. Try you again a little bit. The day you fall, the day he gets shots, he goes and brings other evil seven demons. If you were drinking, and you stop. The day he convinces you back. And then you drink again. You become a heavy drunkard. Fall on these uh, mitaros. On the road trenches. They will pick you from the road. It's not going to be a normal drink. Uh, at least you are aware of your home roads. It's going to be worse than it was before. Because there are seven other demons who are more evil than the first one. Which, which, uh, a person who's wish that has been born again. Ah, this guy is not doing witchcraft anymore. He comes and tests him, tests him, tries him. If he tries a little bit. Others are witches even by their eyes. How many knows that? So those people who will bewitch people through their eyes. <laughs> Mana, you go very conscious. Once they are born again, they would walk like this because they are so cautious. Because they know the moment they look unto you, it's trouble. Macho, inaitwa nini? Zongo. Iyo natia iyo lugaya kwetu iyo zongo. I don't believe this stuff. But there was a day I was so amazed that it was I don't know if it is true. There is this God. He was bewitched. <laughs> he was bewitched because uh, this guy was not given meat. <laughs> By then we had slaughtered a cow. And I said, give him also because he was involved in slaughtering. You know, sometimes the walkers, they have conflicts among them. I said, ah, you've not given me meat. The one who was cutting the meat. He had stomach ache. He, he had to go back. He couldn't even eat a piece of meat. The entire night he was sick. When he came back, I don't know. The guy has bewitched you. <laughs> the guy you. You have to go and do something. 
Jamani labda alikuwa anaumwa tu labda akasema mama. I said no, maybe he was just sick. I said no. Huyo jamaa. This guy. Amempiga udada zongo. Has bewitched this guy. Na aliangalia hiyo nyama na macho ya zongo. Nyama ambayo ilikuwa ni kitoto kia ngombe cha ngombe cha mwaka moja aiene. Ile nyama unaipiga hata kwenye pressure cooker ngo haivi. And he did something to that meat. The meat was so tender. Even if you put it in pressure cooker it will never get done. Sijawahi kuona kitu kama hicho. I've never seen such a thing. Nikasema haiwezekani. And I said it's impossible. Mimi najua nyama. I know meat. Najua nyama ambayo bado ni kitoto alafu ni ile kitoto kia nyama ya kizungu. I know when it's a calf meat it's so tender. Unaipiga tu dakika chache. You just cook it for few minutes. Imesha hivyo imelainika. It's done and you're ready to eat. Hiyo nyama ilimaliza mkao mkao mgunia mzima. But this one they use the whole sack of chako. <laughs> Wali piga hiyo nyama. Chezea zongo hiyo. Wali tia mkaa. Wali ongeza mkaa. Wali ongeza pressure cooker. Nyama hiyo kama nijue. Mm. Wakasema hii ni zongo hii. Sasa <laughs> mimi siamini yake hivi vitu lakini kasema mm. I don't believe this thing but this day I say wow. Ni vya kweli? Hivi ni vya kweli? Ni vya kweli? Zongo ipo. Zongo. <laughs> Nyama ikawa kama kuni. And the meat was so tough. Unatafuna unatafuna mpaka meno inataka kutoka. You eat and eat until your teeth are about to be plucked. Nikasema mlete hizo nyama hapa. And I say bring that meat here. Mimi siwezi kutuma kutupa friji nyama ina inajaa friji nzima ni itupe ngombe msima mlete hapa. I don't throw away this meat. Bring it here. Nikaiombea. I paid for it. Nikaiombea nikasema kama kuna zongo mimi sijui. Kama kuna macho ya zongo mimi sijui. Mimi najua hii nyama nilinunua kwa hela yangu. I bought this meat with my own. Ninaitakasa kwa damu ya Yesu. Sanctified by the blood. Nikasema mwende mpige hiyo nyama. I said go and cook it. Walivyoipiga ikalainika. When they cooked it was soft. <laughs> Lakini nilitokaona na nini? Walimnyima, walipokuwa nakula jikoni wakala wenyewe wakamnyima. But what was the problem? They didn't give him while they were eating. So this guy got mad and said I'll show you. Nilimupa malipizi nikamwambia boss wake nikamwambia mtoe huyu mtu kwa miezi miili aende atubu alafu siku roho yangu itafurahi nitamrudisha. And then pay back I told the boss take him out of job for two months for him to Acha na kutupa mazongo zake mahali hapa aende kwanza atubu so that he may not bring his zongos here. Maana kalikuwa katuka nzuri. Nikiamka tu. He was a good guy. Hey, bossi, bossi. Sasa nikawa na kaurumia. Fukuza kaka mtu kana zongo mama kana tutesa. <laughs> he was a good guy. <laughs> so I had to kick him out temporarily. <laughs> eh? Sijue kama ameokoka lakini nikiwa pale juu mimi nikiomba kana no, kwa kwenye ima, garden. Hii maneno imetokea hapa. Hapa. Ah. Ni niko pale kwenye balcony naomba. Yeye akisikia tu nimeanza kuomba na mkaa anapiga magoti. This guy all the time when he would hear me praying he would kneel down and pretend as if he's praying. <laughs> Full of zongo. Ata make sure Mama mbone hajaamka leo kuomba. Atazungukia. Sure Aone gari. Akikuta gari haipo. Ameenda kanisani. Akiona sijaomba. Anaenda na kuta gari iko hapa. Anasema mama nini imetokea? Sijui ni zongo ama sijui ni nini. I don't know if it is zongo. Si sijui kwa kweli. Siwezi fundisha vitu ambavyo sivijui. Lakini cha uhakika najua niliombea nyama ikalainika. Kwa hiyo ngombe. So Kwanza nilimwambia Luize wewe hujue kupiga nani nani steak. Mpigia lini. Mimi ni na wageni mpigia lini aje atie ile marinate vizuri tuone tatakwenda. Aline si ulikuja? Aline alipiga kuna gisi unapiga piga nyama ili laike alipiga akaitia viungo akaikaanga akaileta nilivotia lino ilitaka kutoka kwa hiyo wale ambao wanapiga watu mazongo watubu wasipo tubu watakuwa wachawi wa kutisha sana 
Kama umeacha dhambi ndugu uwe unaiacha mia kwa mia. If you stop sinning stop it 100%. Adui akikurudilia rudilia naona haujaimalizia vizuri kwenye mawazo na kwenye nia ya ndani. Coming back to you and see that you've not left it fully. Atakufanya vibaya zaidi. It will do something very bad to you. Kwa hiyo toba so repentance iko ndani ya nyumba ya Daudi. Is in the house of David. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand on your feet. Yeah, right.